Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Now let's see we can append tables with the different number of columns. So the tables that we need to append here, for example, is what uh, uh, we have here. And we have, uh, uh, these are the kind of tables that we need to append and they have different number of columns. Like now if you check on January, we have uh, six six columns and uh, 10 records and uh, then again we check on uh, February on February we have uh, seven columns uh, with 10 records so we have an additional column here and the same applies to when we go to um, March, March also we have uh, uh, seven columns uh, with ten records, but now we are having a uh, quantity returned as additional column. The same applies to February where we have comments as additional uh, column. So we need to append the three tables uh, into one, uh, but they have uh, quite uh, uh, different number of columns. So let's see how we can do this uh, within Power BI. So within Power BI, first we'll go to Home tab, then we'll uh, click uh, Get Data, then we'll click Excel Workbook. Then uh, the different tables with the different columns that we need to append is, uh, or rather they are within uh, period uh, period two cells. So I'll pick period two cells, then open. Then for me, I need to choose uh, the tables that I need to open. Then I will click again, transform. And then from me, now I need to open uh, the three queries. So what I will do, uh, like the way we did with the previous uh, video, where we appended the, the three uh, queries with the same number of columns, we'll just go to uh, the combined function, then I will click on uh, append queries, then I will choose the append queries as one, then I will choose three or more tables because we have uh, more than three queries, more than two queries, then I will again uh, I choose uh, February and January and add two tables to append and then I'll click OK. So really now we have a appended table so we can sort the date in terms of ascending order and then we can also rename the table to Jan, March sales and then when we check on the columns uh, uh, within our query that has been appended uh, right hand side we have uh, uh, two columns uh, with quantity returned and comments so where there's no values for quantity returned we have none and where there are no comments uh, within the comments uh, column we also have null so from here we can uh, uh, load uh, the query to power bi so what we'll do we'll uh, click close and apply but before then we need to uh, uh, disable the loading of the other four queries because when we click uh, close and apply all the four queries will be, will be loaded, but we just want to load the uh, the appended query. So we'll right click on each and every query of January, February, and March, and uh, and tick the enable uh, box, the enable load box. Okay. And then from here now we can uh, click on close and apply so that we can load. Uh, the appended uh, query to Power BI.
so already here we have uh, the table uh, so we can also check on the details of the table by clicking on data view a data view icon here and then you can see the details of uh, what we have within our table so ladies and gentlemen i hope you understood how to uh, append three tables with the different columns uh, using power query within power bi so thanks a lot for watching and let's meet again in the next video